There's no better view in the world than the view of the country, the church in the background, and two Crown Victorias parked side by side. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Random. In today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the most obscure things in the Crown Victoria world. That's because in today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about a Windsor-built Crown Victoria and a Romeo-built Crown Victoria. Now, this might be the first time for a lot of you guys finding out that some Crown Victorias were built were built with uh, Romeo engines and some Crown Victorias were built with Windsor engines. Now, this is a 2002 Crown Victoria. It uses a cable for the throttle. You can see this is a 2006 Crown Victoria. It is drive-by-wire. But one thing I didn't tell you guys at the beginning of this video, that's because unlike the Ford Mustang, which after a certain year, the engines were all moved over to Romeo for the Crown Vic. Guess what? 2002, 2006, both Romeo engines. Now the point of today's video, we're not gonna have a debate, we're not gonna have an argument as to how you can tell if uh, Crown Vic is a Windsor built or Romeo built. And as much as I would want to start a absolute shitstorm, I'm not gonna talk about which engine is better. Although there are some slight differences in the way these engines were built. It's kind of 50-50. Some people lean towards the Windsor side, some people lean towards the Romeo side. What I am gonna talk about in today's video is I'm gonna show you how you can find out right now at your house. You don't need a computer. All you need is a cell phone. How you can find out just using the VIN number on your Crown Victoria, whether it was a Windsor built or Romeo built. And the other thing that I will be talking about is what exactly those differences are. So without further ado, guys, let's jump right into the video. Here we go. All you guys have to do is go to edis.ford.com. It'll work. It'll work directly from your cell phone, guys. Edis.ford.com. You're going to enter your VIN number and it's going to tell you every little detail about this car. It's going to tell you the color. It's going to tell you what packages came with it. The website is going to look something like this. It's going to have your VIN to the left. It's going to say Cron Victoria. Right now the website is down, but it still tells you what kind of Cron, at least what kind of engine you have. And mine is Performance White, and it is a Romeo engine. Now a harder way to tell if your Cron Vic is a Windsor or Romeo is to actually check the engine block. There'll be a W stamped for Windsor or in this case an R stamped for Romeo. Another difference is although our cars are primarily made in Canada, it's the Romeo built Crown Vics that have the beating heart of America. That's because Romeo engine Crown Victorias, the engines are made in Romeo, Michigan, hence the Romeo name. Windsor Crown Victorias, the engines are made in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Nothing against my Canadian people. I love every single one of you guys. Now, just to generalize things, although it really doesn't apply as much to Crown Victorias, like I said, Windsor engines were primarily designed for the trucks, for Ford's truck lineup. Romeo engines were designed for the Mustang lineups, like I said. But like I said earlier, these things were swapped left and right through, through different plants all across the freaking years of the Crown Victoria. Now, Romeo engines, they have a six bolt crankshaft and they do require uh, six bolt flywheels. Also, uh, the heads, the Romeo heads, they usually have an 11 bolt uh, valve cover pattern. But the most important part, the part that you guys might just really care about if you want to be technical, if you, if you want to start grasping at straws and whose Crown Vic is better than whose, the only real actual difference between a Romeo and a Windsor engine is that in most cases, uh, the engines usually got press fit pistons. And they also had powdered metal rods with cracked caps. Uh, the camshafts on the Romeo heads, they feature a bolt-on cam gear compared to the pressed-on cam gear found in the Windsor heads. That just makes the timing covers. You can't interchange them, but that's about it. So yeah, there are a couple differences there. Some people say the Romeo engines can handle boost better. Some people say the Windsor ones give more problems. Part of the reason for that was the Windsor plant was Ford's main plant for a very long time. They were pumping these things out left and right. And a lot of mistakes were made when finishing the engine compared to the Romeo plant, which was a lot newer. They had a little bit more time to work on things a little bit better. Either way, I hope you guys can do something with that information. A lot of people didn't know that there was actually some different engines in your Crown Victorias. They don't all have technically the same engine, although you can swap it out. It'll still work just as fine. 
But I'm going to leave the battling, I'm going to leave the arguing to you guys in the comment section down below. Do you think the Romeo built Kronvik engine is better or do you think the Windsor built Crown Victoria engines are better. Like I said, visit that website I just told you guys about in the video. Find out for yourself, man. Either way, it's your boy, Mr. Random. And remember, guys, I got two more modifications coming, and then the Crown Vic won't be stock anymore. Supercharger coming. Either way, catch you guys on the next one.